Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel for today's video. You guys already know what video it is. It is my annual annual. It is my monthly collective slash shopping spree haul. I do these once a month on my channel and it is just a collection of items that I have gotten in the mail or bought in store over the past few weeks, month, whatever that I haven't already showed in a dedicated video already. I have so many brands in this video. I have Kulani Kinis, which I've never ordered from before. I have Skims, a lot of Skims stuff, Dossier, Jouer, a local boutique, Sephora, and more. As always, I will have all these items that I mentioned in today's video listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop if you're interested. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. So I do have two new dossier fragrances to show you guys really quickly. I'm super excited about these. If you guys are new to my channel or you haven't heard about Dossier, basically they are a fragrance website that replicates designer inspired fragrances for a fraction of the cost. They do free 30 day returns, which is awesome. So if you buy a fragrance and you decide you don't like it, you can return it risk-free before 30 days and get your money back. They have so many different brands and fragrances to choose from on their website. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a link in the description box if you wanna check them out. And I also have a discount code. It is Hannah Victoria 5 for 5% off your Dossier order. I'll also have a link to their store locator in the description box because Dossier is now available in 1400 Walmarts. So I'll have that down there if you guys wanna find a Walmart near you that carries them. They also have a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. You can select catch at the last of a checkout and earn a $10 sign on bonus. Get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. So this first fragrance that I have is called Ambery Vanilla. It's inspired by YSL's Black Opium, which is a personal favorite of mine. I own the real one and I'm almost out. So this is great. Now I can use this. The top notes are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, and Licorice. Guys, this smells just like the real thing. I'm obsessed. I literally cannot tell a difference at all. I don't know why I'm surprised because Dossier kills it every time, but like, wow. So if you guys are like me and you like black opium, definitely get Ambry Vanilla because that smells so freaking good. So this next one is called Powdery Coconut, which scares me a little bit because I don't like coconut smells. And it's inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc EDP. I've never heard of this. Mmm, that smells really interesting. The top notes are cardamom pistachio and bergamot. It's definitely powdery. I don't really smell coconut, even though that's in the base note, but it's good. Definitely not one that I would like normally gravitate towards, but I'm impressed. A huge thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget guys to check the link in my description box if you wanna check them out and use my discount code HANVICTORIA5 for 5% off your order. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the haul. So I do wanna say really quickly that this is not gonna be a try on. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm filming, editing, and uploading this all in one day. So, yeah, but next one I will do a try on if you guys want it. But I purposely am not showing all the Revolve items that I bought this month to do a dedicated video on where I am going to try that stuff on. Um, so be looking forward to that. But I do have a few clothing items in this that I will not be trying on. But if I have a picture in some of this stuff, of course, I'm going to insert it. Starting off. Jouer Cosmetics sent me a lovely package. I was not expecting this, so I was so happy when I got this. And I have not used it yet because I was waiting to show you guys, but this is the Jouer Bare Rose Collection. And look how freaking pretty. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. It's like a little silk pillow. I like wanna keep this. 10 out of 10 for the presentation, but it comes with a long wear cream lip liner, the Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm, and then a blush and bloom cheek and lipstick. Oh my gosh, I'm like really hype about this. I have been wanting to try their lip liners. Stop, oh, stop it. That is stunning. This is like the exact shade that I always wear on my lips. Oh my gosh, the formula is so good. This is the blush and lip tint, oh my gosh or stain, whatever. And then this is the lip enhancer. I have the lip enhancer like gloss. It's like in a tube and I love it. Maybe it's called something else. <gasps> oh my gosh, stop it. Mm. Guys, if you're sleeping on Joy, don't because they got it going on. They've been one of my favorite brands 
four years so i'm so grateful and thankful that they sent over this collection i'll have it linked in the description box i'm pretty sure they're on amazon as well so i'll also have this linked in my amazon storefront if you guys are interested oh my gosh thank you joy so if you guys saw my last collective haul you know that i found the most perfect pair of jeans in the whole world like they're absolutely perfect from abercrombie they're called the 90s relaxed high-rise jean i loved them so much that I decided to get them in black. So these are them. I get them in a size 23, which is a triple zero, and then in the extra short length. And I've been wearing these like crazy. I'm pretty sure I've worn these like five times already and I just got them. But I mean, they're black jeans. They go with everything. They fit amazing. They fit me in the waist, the hips. Um, they're like a little like not oversized, but they're definitely relaxed in the legs, which I like. It's not like a skinny jean. So I'm obsessed. Sadly, they're like sold out in almost every shade in my size and length. But when they come back in stock, I'm literally snagging all of them because these are the best jeans ever. And if you haven't tried them, try them out. You won't regret it. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely slept on them for a little bit. I was like, Abercrombie, ew. I didn't see the hype until I tried it. Okay, next up we have Sephora. You guys are gonna be really shocked when I say that I did not buy anything from the Sephora sale, which is crazy, I know, not like me. Like, I don't think I've ever not bought anything during a Sephora sale in my whole life. Not my whole life, but for the past like six years um, that I've been on YouTube. So I bought like three items before the sale even started. So I'm just gonna show you guys those. I don't know why, I just like totally forgot that it was going on and there was nothing that I had my eye on. I'm kind of like in this weird makeup rut. I got two things from Rare Beauty. I got the Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil and Happy and then the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter and Flaunt. I purchased this, I wanna say in my last collective haul? No, it was like two or three collective hauls ago and it shattered when I was traveling, um, but I bought it in a different shade. I think I had it in Exhilarate. So it came back in stock and instead of buying the same shade that I already had, I wanted to try Flaunt. It's a little bit more goldy. I don't know why because I love Exhilarate, but Flaunt is good when I have a tan, but like I would use Exhilarate right now because I'm not tan. But best highlighter ever. This is it. It does break really easily, so be careful with that if you're traveling. But it is stunning and just like the consistency is chef's kiss. Like, like I said, best highlighter I've ever used in my whole life. I'm not kidding. Then I also got the new lip oil and I really like this. It's really pretty. I will say it doesn't really last that long and it's more of like a, I don't know, like a lip gloss maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was kind of like expecting like a Dior lip oil or I don't know, but I got it in the shade happy. I also have the rare beauty blush in the shade and I love it, but yeah, it's gorgeous, just not long lasting and it's pretty wet, so it'll kind of like smear, I feel like. I don't know, I would recommend this though, and I probably will pick it up in other shades, but just let me know what you guys think about this, cause like, I guess I had high hopes, and maybe I hyped it up too much in my head, I don't know. But still, nonetheless, I like it, I've been wearing it a lot, like almost every time I do my makeup, so I don't know why I'm like complaining. But see, I just wiped it off, and there's still like a little residue or like tint behind, but it does come off pretty easily. Definitely not kiss proof. Then last thing from Sephora, this is a TikTok find. I saw somebody hyping this up on TikTok and I was like, girl, say less. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. I got it in the scent or shade Cherry Vanilla. Mm, so good, this is what it is. It's basically like the Laneige Lip Mask, which I own every scent in, but it's supposed to be plumping. I don't really know if it necessarily plumps. That girl in that TikTok swears up and down that it does, but I've just noticed that it's just really hydrating and smoothing. I get lip filler, so I don't necessarily need like any more plump, but I just want to try it out. And yeah, I mean, I guess it does plump a little bit, but I don't notice like a huge difference. And I mainly use this at night, like as a lip mask. So maybe I need to start like trying it throughout the day and see if I notice a difference. But I do really, really like this. I like the tint that it leaves and I like the way it feels. I honestly might like it better than my Laneige. It's not as like sticky and greasy as the Laneige, but it still gives me the same like hydrating and smoothing effect that the Laneige does. So definitely try this out. They have different scents. They have like a birthday cake one or something and then they have another one, but I just got the cherry vanilla because it had like a little tint of pink, which I love when well, my lips are tinted. Okay, next we'll go into Skims. I have three items. Can I count? I have four items right here. And then I also 
got a package in the mail today from them. So I'll show you guys that next. I don't know when this drop was, maybe like two weeks ago, but she came out with new colors in the essential bodysuits, I guess. So I got like each one except the long sleeve one, I think. So I got two of the essential scoop neck bodysuit. I got it in orange highlighter and neon green. These are very, very bright. I don't know when I'm gonna wear these. Because <laughs> like, wow. But um, I got these both in a extra small, extra, extra small, extra small. I'm making sure that these are the right size because Skims likes to play around with me sometimes. But yeah, so I got both of these. I They're very bright. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out an outfit <laughs> to wear with them. But super cute for the summer. And then I got the Essential One Shoulder Bodysuit in Mykonos. I have a lot in this shade. I love it. I also got this in an extra, extra small, extra small as well. This one's one shoulder. I haven't worn any of these yet, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but super cute. I have a lot of clothing items in this shade. And then I also got the Essential T-shirt bodysuit in pink highlight. This is my favorite shade that I got the bodysuit in, but I already own the Skims bodysuit. I forget what it's called. The one that like went TikTok viral, I already own it in a very similar shade, if not the same exact shade. So I just thought I would get this pink shade in the short sleeve version since I already have a tank top version in this shade or one very similar. I don't know if that makes any sense. That was my thought process. But yeah, I don't really wear t-shirt bodysuits, but I thought this would be cute with some jean shorts, some jeans, you know, as a very casual fit. And I'll let you guys know how I like it. But I also got this in an extra extra small, extra small as well. I haven't tried these on, but they look like they're gonna fit. So updates to come. So then next up I got, oh, well, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. So I bought a bathing suit from Skims the other day and then went back on the website and bought a matching towel. But the bathing suit hasn't come yet. So that'll be in my next haul. But this is just the Skims Velour Terry Towel. And I got it in this light pink shade and it's super cute. I did not need this. My parents have a lake house and we have, I'm not even kidding you, probably over a hundred towels there. But I thought this would be cute. Like, I don't know. I don't have my own towel that's like cute. And that's like mine. I have like some really ugly cheap ones off of Amazon. I just kind of want a nice one if I take like a beach trip or if I'm laying by my pool. I don't know. I just, I thought it was really cute. And I love how it says skims on it and it's gonna match my new bathing suit that you guys will see. Such a random purchase and something that I did not need. So next up, I went to a local boutique. It's called Electric Cowgirl. And it's very like Western vibes. Literally the whole store screams just Nashville to me. And I'm going to Nashville in like a week to see Taylor Swift. So I went in there and just decided to pick up a few things for my trip. I also bought a ton of stuff on Revolve for my trip that you guys will see in my Revolve haul coming very soon. And if you also want a sneak peek at my Taylor Swift outfit, check out my video that's going up this Sunday. But anyways, so I went to Electric Cowgirl. And the thing is with boutiques, their sizing is not very, what's the word? There's not a wide range of sizes. Like they usually only have small, medium, large, sometimes extra large, but I'm an extra, extra small or an extra small in most things. Um, so some of the stuff is a little big on me, but it's fine, we can manage because it's really cute. So this first thing that I got, oh my gosh, I, I die, like literally. What the heck? It's so cute. This is not normally my style. You guys know me. I feel like I am all over the place with my style for the most part. Like I can be, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to describe my style. You guys know what it is, but I feel like I'm not very like Western or boutique-y or I don't know. Boutique-y. You guys know what I'm trying to say, but this is very like, I don't know, not my style, but it's so stinking cute. And this is going to be perfect for Nashville. So I'll try and link this stuff down below, but like I said, it's a local boutique. I think they do have an online store, so I'll find it for you guys. Um, but this is called the Cupcake Cowgirl bodysuit, and I got it in a small, and it's like this denim bodysuit, really good material, and it's got this fringe rhinestone detail at the top, and it's so stinking cute. I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with yet, like a white skirt, white pants, white shorts, let me know. I have no idea, I gotta plan out my outfits, but it's a little big on me. I might have to wear like a bra or something to kind of fill in like the gaps in my torso. I don't know, I don't have time to get it hemmed, but it's so cute and I had to get it, so love that. Okay, and then these two items, I got to go kind of together. So this <laughs> looks really funny. It's like this long sleeve mesh rhinestone top. And you can, I guess, wear this like over something, like if you wear like a bra top, or like a bandeau, you could put this over it. But a lot of people wear this under like a t-shirt. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear this like under this t-shirt with some jean shorts or something. But yes, this is just a t-shirt that says Nashville. The mannequin had this on and I just couldn't resist. Like it looked so cute. So I thought for Nashville, I would just get those two things. I could wear this so many more times other than Nashville, but I'm not really a graphic tee kind of girl. And I'm going to feel weird wearing a Nashville t-shirt in Nashville. I'll feel like definitely like a tourist, but it's okay because I am a tourist. But honestly, this outfit on the mannequin was just like to die for and I couldn't pass it up. I just, I had to get it. But yeah, definitely not my normal style, but it's going to be cute. I promise. Let me know what you guys think I should pair those items with for my Nashville trip. Last but not least, I ordered from Kulani Kinis. I haven't really ordered any bathing suits for the summer yet that's a lie i got some from skims but i only got three i'm a bathing suit hoarder so it was it was time that i ordered some but normally i get all mine from frankie's bikinis but they're very expensive and i want to try something new so i decided to give kulani bikinis a shot i haven't tried these on or anything hopefully they fit i don't even remember what i ordered but it was like 500 dollars worth of bathing suits i'm so freaking excited oh my gosh they're so cute these look huge <laughs> um okay these are in a small but like yeah uh these are the full coverage bottoms because your girl goes to the lake with her family a lot and i just don't feel comfortable with my dad my uncle my cousin you know in like a thong bikini so i want to try the full coverage bottoms from kulani but they look i don't know i'm a little concerned but that's in the shade watermelon i think yeah, and then here's the top that I got to go with it. Also in a small. I got all these in a small, the tops and bottoms. This looks like it's going to fit. So, yeah, this is super cute though. I'm like really scared. Hopefully this fits. If not, I can always order another bottom in that color. Then I also got this bathing suit. Is this a full coverage one? I think so. I think this is like a normal one. So cute. This is in the print Angel Baby. And then here's the top that I got to go with it. I'm obsessed. This is so cute. I love little strapless tops. I also got this purple one. Again, with the full coverage bottoms. I'm like really scared. This is in the shade Electric Violet. The material and quality of these is like unreal. Like it is good. Like it's better than Frankie's. Like Frankie's feels not worthy of $90 per top and bottom. But this, these were like 60, I wanna say, or 50. And like, this is really good quality. But, oh my gosh so cute i love this one okay and then last one ah stop i die uh in this print this is called bombshell beach it's so cute it's kind of like angel baby but different colors and then these are the bottoms i think these and these bottoms are the same i think they're the minimal full coverage and then the other bottoms that i got are full coverage so minimal versus full coverage but super cute i'll let you guys know in the comments if how they fit i'm a little scared not gonna lie all right guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below click that bell upload every sunday and wednesday also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias which are on the screen and also listed and linked in the description box below don't forget to check out dossier and use my discount code hannah victoria 5 for five percent off your dossier order i'll also have a link if you guys want to check out their store locator to find a walmart near you that carries them i will have all these items that i mentioned in today's video listed and linked in the description box and order if you guys want to shop and let me know what i should get next for my next collective haul i love you guys so so much and i'll hopefully see you very soon in my next one bye guys